It's a great day. It is a great day. This is, I've had the last two days have been great. I am so excited. Whew. I have dropped the last tree that I am going to cut up on this property. I still need to chop them up, but they are all cut down. I am done. I had one big screw up, which I'll show you that. Um, yeah, that was a little nervy there. Yeah. So let me show you here for something for a second. I just want to show you this is my neighbor's property and you can see what it looks like down there and actually down the hill on my property. And you can see how full it is down there. Now we come around. Yeah, they are all down. Like I said I got a lot of chopping to do and stacking and splitting but this, on the usable area of the land I have, I have like 10 trees left. There are literally hundreds of trees cut down. But it is exciting to get this far. We've had a lot of bad weather. In fact, the other day it was, um, we had a heck of a storm. It dropped 10 and a half inches of rain in about four hours. So that was a heck of a thunderstorm. But even more and finally having some good weather to clear up the trees. Uh, the Monday, my solar panels came in. So just real quick, I made a temporary stand for them. So these are the new 400 watts of solar panels on a temporary frame that I can wire in. And get rid of the flat ones on top of the camper. Actually, I'll get wired in once I get the permanent stand put up. But this is going to give me a lot more power. We've had so many cloudy days. I mean, like going three, four, where I'm running out of power, and I can't even like edit videos or anything. So it hasn't even been worthwhile to try to make them. But that was Monday when those panels came in. Yesterday, yesterday. I had to take a run down to the post office because a whole bunch more stuff came in. Projects, projects, projects. So tomorrow is supposed to rain, so I'm not going to get anything done tomorrow. But, oh yeah. The hot water heater. Um, filters for the rainwater system. The Berkey water filters. The MC4 connectors for the solar panels. Filled up in propane, got some 10-2 wire. Uh, there's a whole bunch more stuff in here. Uh, yeah, it is. I got projects going on like crazy now. So, that's awesome. That is awesome. It makes me so happy that I got so much stuff to do. And I just need good weather. It is the end of January, and I know like Tuesday is supposed to be 60 degrees out. So the weather is starting to come up. It's not like Connecticut where it's down to like minus 10 degrees or something like that. They are not used to that. But things are going good. All right, going down to the other end of the property. And I want to thank YouTube channel because Buckin' Billy Ray. He is the man when it comes down to taking trees down. And I've been watching his channel because this screw up that I did, I would not have known what to do if I had not been watching his videos. He knows what he's doing and he's a professional so that's who I listen to and you'll see what I, how I dealt with this tree when it all went sideways, literally sideways on me. But I did save this last tree. This was the biggest one that I was going to cut down and I got it down and this one actually went well. Went way better. It's actually wider than what my chainsaw is. But I got it. And it went down good. There's so much to clean up out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that one right there. I got everything at least cleaned out of the road. Most of them went down the road today. Uh, I got cleaned up off the back so they're not in the road. But you can see I still have a lot of chopping to do out here. And But look at this. I was not planning on taking that big oak tree down or the one next to it and that one next to it that was my problem child but it's down no harm no foul i learned a little lesson so 
just I can't wait for the bulldozer to come through here and clean this place out. But there is a few days, at least a few days of work of cutting down, chopping up these trees and stacking them. But it's getting close, unfortunately. When I was at Lowe's yesterday, I checked the lumber prices. Not only haven't they gone down, they've actually gone up. They were $570 for a common 2x4x8. I checked yesterday, they're now $587. And what really kills me is the 1x4s by 8s are the same price. It's half, it's half the wood and they're charging the same amount. These people are robbing us. There's no way I'm going to build and buy lumber at those prices. There should be a dollar eighty-seven or four dollars a piece higher. Three times. Not gonna happen. I'm not doing it. Unless I get desperate. Because I really want to get started on building. And it's getting closer to when I can, so it's gonna be hard not to. But I'll figure it out. I'm just happy that I got all the trees down. I got all my stuff in for these projects, and I'm gonna have a hot water on demand shower. I mean, I've been using this shower stall, which is great, and I'll continue using it. But it's kind of a pain when it's when you got to like heat water up in a pan, mix it up with other water, and uh, I have a little thing I'll show you. Yeah, so this is my little, inside my little shower unit here. I don't know if it's too close to you can see, but it's like five foot by five foot. I did buy another jerry can, but this thing works great. I put my water in the tub there, mix it up so it's nice and warm, and this thing pulls it up, get a nice shower. But it is. Um, it's, it's a pain to have to heat. Let me get you. It's a pain to have to heat the water up. It'd be so much nicer to be able to come in here and just turn it on and take a shower. And that's what's going to happen. It's going to be so nice. Let's take a shower anytime. The way it is now. <clears throat> the way it is now. I mean, you got to kind of plan out. It's like, oh, it's going to be 60 degrees or it's going to be 55 degrees. I can take a shower. With the instant on, I don't have to keep coming out here, heating up the water and all this stuff. So it's just going to be jump in, take a nice hot shower. Not really worry about the temperature outdoors so much. But look at this. Look at that. Clean. Well, clean as it's been since I got here. Bulldozer comes through and this will be all leveled out and I can start building. I'll build something. I'm going to build my solar panel, rainwater collection. And I'm going to take you guys down and show you where the spring is. It's a nice ride and it's kind of cool to have access to a spring. Must have at least, at least another cord of wood just laying on the ground that I got to cut up. Good times. See you later.
spot that it hung up. Big deal is that it did not go anywhere near the direction I wanted to go. So I really screwed that one up. Well, one tree left after that, and this is the end of all the trees I'm cutting down. Hopefully this last one goes better. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to cut it today, but I'm going to. It's the last one. And the wind's blowing the wrong direction. But this will be it. I'll just have cleanup to do. It'll take a few days to clean up all the trees that I cut down in the, uh, in the woods here. Well, they're not really woods anymore because I cut it all down. But, yeah, this is I was, I've been saving this one for last. Let's try it. Gotta clean it up and get it out of the road. Last stinking tree.